Hey guys, it's Amber Rain Davis. I am back with the WOW Creative team to share some tips for using your glitter embossing powders. We'll get right into it. We're gonna use Metallic Platinum Sparkle, which is a gorgeous color. We're gonna use a new trio. This one is called Gemstone. It has three glitter embossing powders, including Aquamarine, Peridot, which is a yellow green, and also Tanzanite, which is a purplish pink. These colors are so, so pretty and sparkly. Other products that we're gonna use is this um, fancy sentiment here from Fancy Greetings from Alta New. I wanted to show how you can use glitters to emboss. And then we're also gonna be doing some layer stamping with these glitter embossing powders. Um, we're gonna use circle quilt cover dye for a background and then do some dry embossing on one of the panels as well. Um, so let's get right into it. To start, I've cut a piece of cardstock with a circle stacking die and I have eighth inch score tape here and I'm going to start off with using the glitter embossing powders with score tape. So if you want to have immediate success, so if you've struggled with glitter embossing powders before and you wanna have immediate success, <laughs> emboss some score tape um, or other double-sided tape that you might have. Maybe you have be, a, be creative tape or something like that. You're gonna sprinkle on your glitter embossing powder and because this is a super sticky adhesive, it's gonna hang on to that glitter like nobody's business. So you can give it a good whack or a flick with your finger. It's not gonna drop off and you can just emboss as you normally would. So I'm gonna do three different stripes here and I'm just gonna trim off the excess from the back there. When you're using your glitter embossing powders, you wanna make sure that you shake the container before you sprinkle it onto your product. So just in case any of the embossing powder settles. So the way that glitter embossing powders are gonna work is if it's just glitter, so if you have one of the WOW containers that says sparkles on it, that is literally just glitter. There's no embossing powder in there. So if you're trying to emboss with that, it is not gonna be effective because there's nothing to melt you have to have one of the glitter embossing powders. So what happens is when you melt the embossing powder, the glitter gets embedded into that embossing powder. So you wanna make sure you shake your container so that you have an even distribution of embossing powder and glitter so that things stick. So using the Wow Clear Ultra Slow Drying Ink Pad, I'm gonna ink up the Hello Lovely stamp here and I like to ink mine up twice. I like to be able to see the impression of the stamp and to do that, I really do need to ink it up twice. It just makes me feel better. You probably can just do it once. And then of course, I'm gonna shake up my container and then sprinkle it on to the embossing ink. Now, this is an adhesive, it's an embossing ink. So it's a sticky ink, but it doesn't have as much grab as the score tape does. So you, this is not something that you wanna flick with your finger. You wanna gently tap your cardstock. If you flick it, the majority of your glitter is gonna fall off. And I'm gonna show you that with the next card, the difference between flicking and then just lightly tapping and the results of both of those. So we can see we have beautiful stamping. The embossing has gone on super cleanly. We don't have any excess. If there is any, you can knock it off with a um, dry paintbrush. And the other really important thing with your glitter embossing powders is you wanna heat it from behind the cardstock first. If you heat it from below, it's gonna to start to melt the embossing powder and the glitter is gonna stick in that melted embossing powder. If you start heating from up top, you're gonna blow your glitter away before the embossing powder has melted. So here you can see a close up of how cleanly that stamped and how cleanly the glitter embossing. I mean, look how nice that is, even with the lovely, which is pretty small text. And I love how cleanly the score tape embosses. So I have the Altenew Circle Quilt Cover Dye here, and I'm gonna use this for my background. So I've gone ahead and cut that out of, a, of Nina Classic Crest Solar White. So I'm just gonna use Ranger multi -matte, Multimedia Matte Glue around the edges. And then for the inside, I'm gonna use a Nouveau Large Glue Pen. So you could um, die cut this with a double-sided adhesive on the back of it, like stick it or something like that. But I always find something that's intricate like this, it's harder to die cut it. So I just use the adhesives and that large glue pen really works for me. So. I'm just gonna smooth that down 
Any adhesive that I got on the front, I'm just gonna take that right off with this adhesive eraser, which is super handy. And then I'll go ahead and pop up my sentiment and stripes here with a piece of foam adhesive. It's just sticky back fun foam. And then I will glue the back of that and then I'll trim off the excess from the back. And there we have it. So I added a few sequins and this card is done. Here's a close up so you can see how cleanly the sentiment and the stripes embossed and I just love it. So here I have the Good Vibes die from Simon Says Stamp and I had it sitting on top of my ink pad just so I would have an idea of how much of the paper I needed to ink up. So I'm just smushing the ink pad down directly onto the cardstock and this time we're gonna emboss a large area so that we can die cut the embossed paper. So rather than fiddling around with trying to emboss the die cuts, we're gonna emboss the paper and then die cut the paper. Now, so you can see I gently tapped it off I'm going to flick the back of this like I normally would do with other embossing powders so you can see how the glitter falls off. See that? So that's where I'm saying you want to be careful about flicking your paper because it's going to knock off your glitter. So we're going to do this again. So we're going to shake up our container to make sure we have good distribution of glitter to embossing powder. And then I'm, I usually do do it twice for these large areas. I'm going to gently tap it while it's kind of cascading down the front of it, and then I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna leave that there, and I'm gonna heat this entire piece from behind. Once it starts to melt, you'll see it right there. See how the sparkle changes? You can tell that it's melting because you get a different sparkle from the glitter. It's like the glitter changes direction. It's kind of like those, you know like those sequins that flip sides? It's, it kind of reminds me of that. So then when I started heating from the front, there were a couple areas that I hadn't heated from behind, and you'll see that in just a second, it blew the glitter away. So right there and then up in that upper left-hand corner. So that's where heating from the behind is really gonna be the best technique for this. So I'm gonna knock off any excess powder just straight into my trash can so that it's not all over the place. I die cut the shadow out of classic craft solar white and then I'm just adhering down my die cut pieces. So for the background, I've just used two pieces of two inch post-it note tape and lined it up on my grid mat and I'm using Altenew Volcano Lake to ink blend a background here. So I did another video with this. Um, it was a Simon Says Stamp video and it had frames, kind of like focal point for frames, but I'll show it again here. So this is a little bit different. This I'm just doing a stripe down the center, but basically I'm bringing the ink in from the edges so that the darkest part is going to be at the edge of the tape and then it's gonna get lighter as it get, gets closer to that stripe down the center. And that's just gonna help frame it. I think it adds a little bit more interest than just the stripe down the center. Then we're gonna add our Good Vibes die cut. And here, I was missing just a touch. There was just like a small little area that didn't have as much glitter. So I used the Wow Embossing Pen just to add a little bit of ink right to those white areas. And then I'm just going to heat that up. And so you'll never know. And that patches up any kind of areas super easily. So I'll just heat that up and get it adhered and this card is done. So I added some Nouveau Jewel Drops as embellishments and we're moving on to the layer stamping. So here I have Layered Cupcake by Altenew. Here's what it looks like if you do it in dye ink. We're gonna do the whole cupcake with the exception of the background in glitter embossing powder. So I've gone ahead and stamped the outline image just so that I can line up my stamps so that I know where I'm going. For the most part, a lot of these lines are going to disappear. So I'm gonna treat my paper with an anti-static powder tool and then we'll ink this up with the wow pad. And again, I'm gonna double stamp all of these. So I'm gonna use the aquamarine on the bottom, just lightly tapping that. I did go ahead and heat emboss it, but you've seen that a couple times, so I skipped over that. For the cupcake itself, I'm actually using the metallic platinum for that. Gold would also be a good alternative if you don't have the platinum. And again, lightly tapping that off, you can see how it gets super sparkly. I've stamped the full solid icing 
and I'm gonna emboss that in peridot. And then here for the layering, I'm gonna emboss right on top of all of this peridot. So I have the icing, um, kind of like the detail layer here. I'm gonna go ahead and ink it up twice with the wow pad. So I've slowed this down here since this is the part where we're gonna, we're gonna emboss directly over this peridot. And I didn't do anything different other than stamp it twice. I did use the anti-static powder tool in between. And look how pretty that is. That's amazing to me <laughs> that it stuck so well. So again, I'm gonna heat it from behind so that we don't blow any of that off, especially because it, it wasn't adhered to a even surface. It's adhered just to that glitter that's down below it. And we'll get that all adhered. And then after we're done embossing, I'll go ahead and die cut this. So I'm just letting it cool off. And I went ahead and die cut it with the coordinating die. I am dry embossed my background panel here. And I'm, I'm sorry, but I do think that that embossing folder is discontinued now. And so for my sentiment strip, I stamped a sentiment from this set and I used that same eighth inch score tape and just added a strip of that to the top and then I embossed it with the tanzanite powder and then I'm going to add a strip of lime cardstock down below. Here's the finished card with some Nouveau drops for embellishment. If you haven't already subscribed and you enjoyed this video, hit that like button down below. Be sure to subscribe. We'd love to see what you're creating, so tag us at Wow Embossing and me at Notable Ink. And be sure to check out the Wow Embossing fan page on Facebook. Thank you so much for joining me today and I'll see you real soon with more inspiration.